Hi guys, James at Rampant Lion Reviews again for you today. For this one I wanted just to do another channel message as I've done for you at various points across the channel's history. Mainly at the moment because the channel has been a little bit stop start over the last couple of weeks. So I just wanted to let you guys know exactly what's going on. As you may have guessed from the background, I'm actually back in Scotland. Uh, the main reason for this at the moment is that accommodation in Sweden has been a little bit difficult to come by. Even when I was away in Japan of course, it was difficult to sort things out and then it just, uh, it just things just kind of snowballed essentially but Sweden of course has a bit of a housing crisis as does Denmark and quite a few other countries for various reasons mainly the governments haven't built enough houses and of course the, the refugee crisis at the moment is exacerbating things just now so that's just one of the issues but I'm hoping to return to Sweden sometime in October or early November at the latest hopefully for the second round of classes so there's a couple of other things my last landlord I had was uh, has turned out to be very crooked and will need pursuing legally so that's something that I also need to put some time into as well but I can't say too much more about that but that's another annoyance to me at the moment we'll see how it goes and um, but also there's other issues going on personally like uh, Michiko who you saw in the the Japanese videos that I was doing my girlfriend and um, we're, we're quite happy and have decided that we would like to, to live together so we're just kind of trying to figure out exactly what goes on Michiko of course is a teacher uh, I'm finishing off my studies at the moment I may go and pursue my teacher license myself we're just trying to figure out what the best way is to do things whether she comes to Sweden or whether she works in the UK for a little while sort of thing we're just trying to figure all of that out and figure out what the best thing is to do I'm sure as you can understand uh, from the European the, the British EU vote that's very difficult just now because Brexit has just thrown things up in the air and really there is no guarantee of exactly what will happen with visas like my status in the EU might change and um, obviously the the rules uh, for it's all maybe all right for me Chico with the rules for Japan and things like that but for me it's a little bit hectic unless things change in Scotland of course we can live in hope as to what the government here is actually going to do about things uh, but we just need to see how that plays out unfortunately there is no certainty at the moment either economically or with the government so we just need to see how that plays out I'm sure you can understand uh, these kind of things that are going on personally are just a little bit crazy but at the moment I'm looking at doing my teacher diploma and if you know about my studies I'm I studied chemistry originally I completed my master's in that and I'm now working towards an astrophysics master's and I'm picking up some of the the basic physics that I missed and also some of the maths as well and at the moment I might get a next year I might get a gap year and I can pursue my teacher's license during that year so we'll see how that works out there's various things up in the air at the moment not helped by the political situation of course so I just need to wait and see how things settle there and we'll see how we get on it's a bit of a, a kind of a mind fuck at the moment essentially but we'll see how it works out but going back to the channel itself um, I actually have had many requests over the last little while to do some whiskey reviews now I'm sure as many of you'll understand uh, whiskey is pretty expensive actually to do a whiskey review channel is a, quite a financial commitment in fact so I've spoken to a few friends and things who have nice whiskey collections and they're quite happy for me to basically borrow their whiskies and review them on the channel for you here so I will kind of do that sort of thing with it and I can promise you there will be some whiskey reviews now there's been many people have asked me about that so uh, you will get some now I can't really guarantee a kind of schedule whether I would do one a week or anything like that um, I just need to see how it goes I'll post them as I do them of course and we'll see how that works out so I hope you guys enjoyed the whiskey reviews I also hope you en enjoyed the sake reviews that I'm filming for you in Japan um, at some point if I live in Japan which could be likely of course with Michiko being Japanese I would love to do one sake review for you a week because they are absolutely beautiful it's something completely different but if you ask for shochu and awamori reviews I'll tell you right now I'm not doing them I hate it I'm just not doing it but um, sake reviews you can look forward to I'm not sure um, what kind of schedule I can put on those either Michiko will bring some over for me at Christmas of course and uh, I'll just do them as they come so you can look forward to those every so often as you can with the whiskey reviews but I hope you've enjoyed them and do let me know what you think of them of course as well it's always good to hear from you guys on the channel and um, as for the beer reviews of course I want to give a big thank you to those of you who have actually sent me beer of course uh, Hops the Drinker has been one who has sent me a lot of a lot of beers and he sent me some really nice uh, Jesse has sent me some really nice American beers which have been awesome to try there's some more videos coming up from him in the the very near future actually but I hope you've also enjoyed the uh, 
the interview that I did with Casey and Eric at Sotogami Akihabir. I hope you enjoyed that. The collaboration reviews as well. I'm hoping to do those sort of things with some of the other beer tubers, some of the guys in England, of course, and I know some people in Sweden, uh, mainly Andreas from Ulrezan, who might be interested to do that. I will try and expand that a little bit. Um, I've had a lot of requests for uh, shop visits and bar visits and things like that as well. So I did them in Japan, mainly because it was a novelty of me being in Japan that I could do these. But if the demand is there, which it seems to be, I will continue that and do some shop visits here in Scotland while I'm here and uh, I'll also do some over in Denmark and in Sweden as well although the, the shop thing doesn't really work in Sweden but I can do some uh, some bar things for you so let me know about that if you're interested in it and I will continue that I'm quite keen to do it so you'll see those videos appear every so often as well as for the beer itself and the reviews I've had a number of people who've asked me about reviewing their home brews as well if you want me to review your home brews I'm definitely willing to do that and I, I would love to do it actually because some of the home beers are, uh, are pretty damn good actually. The ones that I had from Martin and Vorberry were, were delicious actually. So if you want to send me some home brews, contact me through the, uh, the channel Facebook page and I can give you the address to send the beers to. I would love to review some of your homebrew beers and it's, it's kind of a novelty actually because it's different from reviewing commercial beer. So do let me know if you're interested in me reviewing your homebrews. Always cool to hear from you guys there. Um, as for the beer itself, the plans I have for the channel over the next little while, I do have some German beers that I need to work my way through while I'm home here in Scotland. There's a kind of mini series, if you like, of Scottish beers that I'm catching up on because I do miss Scottish beer when I'm away. So since I'm home, I'll be doing some Scottish beers as well. And um, I might be going to Greece at some point early next year to visit a friend there. So you might see some Greek microbrewed beers at some point, which would be very cool. Um, but there's other countries I want to hit. I mean, I've not done enough Belgian beer reviews. I need to do more Czech reviews as well. Um, so you'll see those added fairly soon. I'd love to do some things from Austria because it's, it's just very difficult to find Austrian beer. I mean, there's the Netherlands and France and Italy who do awesome beer as well. It's just difficult to get a hold of. Spain, I haven't done too many things from. Slovenia, I know, has some very strong craft beer. Estonia as well. You saw my series I did on Polish beers. I'd love to do more of those. Finland, of course, and Norway are countries that I need to get a bit more into as well. And Iceland, I'm always interested as well. And many of you request American beers. It's difficult to get some of the American beers actually in Europe. A lot of them don't even travel outside of their own state in America. And that's from what Jesse has told me, Ops the Drinker, and some of the other guys too, um, such as Rod, who reviews over in the States. There's very, very strange rules in America as for where beer can go within the state. And it varies from state to state, which is quite annoying. I'd love to do more American reviews, though, and Canadian reviews. Australia and New Zealand, of course do some awesome things too so I definitely want to review more of those beers. Korean beers is another one I'm going to explore probably next year actually we do plan to go to Korea so we'll see how that works out but the beer reviews there's many exciting things happening as I say if you want me to review your homebrew beers get in touch through the channel Facebook page and um, any beer donations that you make are obviously hugely appreciated too. I'm quite ha I've got some of the beers I've had sent to me have been incredible actually so a big thank you to those of you who have sent beer along um, it's really cool to have some of these beers that you just can't find anywhere so thank you for all your support as I say whether you've liked, subscribed, shared all, all of that kind of thing a huge thank you to all of you it's really humbling to see something that I started as a hobby kind of grow to be quite popular so your continued support is hugely appreciated all the beer and things that you've sent me has been hugely appreciated as well so yeah um, just that was just to let you know exactly what's going on with the channel as always let me know your thoughts and things in the comment section below it's always interesting to hear from you guys but until the next time at Slanger just now you'll get your first whiskey review tomorrow so I hope you guys enjoy that and there and from then you'll be getting more beer reviews as well and I will add the whiskies as I go and hopefully I can do some more sake as well and maybe there's some other random things going to come up I don't quite know we'll just see how it goes but thank you for your continued support we'll see how things work out with all the stupid politics and stuff that's going on at the moment and uh, rampant line reviews will continue Slanger.